morning guys it's a beautiful sunny sunday morning and i thought i'd do you a little garden update a little tree update and uh show you around my trees now you all know this one this is my uh waterfall root over rock so i'm just going to get you in a little bit closer here so we can actually see the roots i'm going to take this off and have a gander at it and have a look at it see what's going on and then i'll cover it up cover it back up and then i'll show you the rest of the garden so i'm just going to unwrap this gently So, just unwrap that. And yes, they're looking all dry, but I can guarantee you this is working. It's growing really well. They're all thickening up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's it's a bit sparse around this, uh, this side and the other side, but this is the the view in front so and I can always change the angle slightly but it's all looking really good I think I'm just going to give it a little bit of a water so I've been watering this at least twice a day Seems to have been doing the trick. As you can see, it's grown really, really well. As you can see, it's grown really well, so I'm not overly worried about it. It, um, it seems to be doing all right. I'll probably uh, get some different moss because I've got this tree here. Let me show you this. So guys, as you know, this is my my tanuki. And unfortunately, apart from one or two branches, all the trees have died on me. They haven't survived. Um, I think what that was, was a mixture of things that I'm going to rectify in my next attempt at it. Um, obviously you know I'm a beginner and uh, you know I've never done anything like this before so um, I think what's happened is due to my broken arm uh, at the beginning of the year I should have left it and and not done it but what I did was I slipped a couple of times on the trunks when I nailed the tree in and I think the trees were slightly too young for me to nail them. Um, so I think that just sort of split the tree in half and the trees died because of it. So I'm not happy about it, but at the same time, it's had a year out in the weather now and there are a few cracks opening up on the, on the trunk. I'll show you that in a second. Um, so I can do a bit more carving and I can carve them out and create a little bit more of the tree. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy about 13 to 15 larches next year, or at the beginning, in autumn. And I'm gonna put them on the roof for a year, let them grow out, let them really thicken up a bit. And then I may even chop this down a, a little bit further, make it a little bit smaller possibly or keep it the same height I'm not sure yet um, let them grow out get some really good roots going and then I then I think I've got a much better of a chance of it surviving because if you remember there weren't much roots on these trees at all there were you know there was only about that much root on them and etc etc so that's the plan the plan is to get about 13 to 15 of them 
put them on the roof, let them grow for a year, and then at the end of next year, I'm gonna reattempt this. So it's a bit of a shame, it being a, a good concept and all the rest of it, but like I say, due to my broken arm, missing a couple of times on the nail gun, and uh, their roots, it just, it didn't survive. So I'm not overly happy about it, but at the same time, it's a learning experience, isn't it? So this, these are my, oh, and they're growing roots into the pot at the bottom there. These are, um, what are they? Paper bark maple, paper bark maple trees. I got from Dan from um, not from the bonsai project care now um, that is going to be a fusion for Kenneth's challenge so we're going to get that sorted out and we're going to get that fusion coming along um, next on the list is so there's my maples guys they're all my maple, it's my maple forest. Now, getting a bit of leech, leaf scorch here now because it's in full sun and the sun's decided it finally wants to come out this year. So I'm probably gonna have to find a, a different position for this, this whole thing. We're gonna have to try and find some shade for it now. Stick it back in the bush there somehow and get a little bit less sun on it. So that's another one that I'm gonna be doing. There's five trees in there in all, but they're all looking not bad, apart from these front ones. They're not looking too bad at all. They're growing nicely. Just wanna leave them this year, get their, let their roots establish, and then we're gonna take them out, put them in different trees. Because I, th I just think the whole forest concept is too much there's too much going on here um, I could chop them all back but I think I prefer the idea of seeing the trees in individual pots if I can find the room so there's my tanuki my larch tanuki, that's doing really well after I dropped dropped the pot and had to repot it. They just did a little trim on it and uh, it's not looking too sad. So quite quite pleased with the way that, that one's going. And if you remember, there's the pot I made last year and there's three trees in there. We've got a pine there, we've got a spruce tree there that we designed we did a live show and designed it so that's going really well as well and then we've got the larch up top which is really looking quite nice it's got some definitely got some shape going on on that tree and it's natural shape so which is really good and we'll design that at some point in the autumn and get some, get the branches that we want. So that brings me to my giant sequoia bonsai masterpiece. And as you can see, the trees are really grand, really tall, almost to the point, top of the tanuki now. And I don't know if you remember, but when I put these trees in here, they were this big. They weren't much bigger than this. So this is the second year now, and they're almost at the top. So it's going really, really well. Really pleased with it. Um, I've just seen Nigel Saunders from the Bonsai Zone do another little trim on his, his forest. So I'm not actually going to trim mine. I'm just going to keep it leg let it grow and uh, it seemed that in December time when I trimmed the tree it worked out really well I haven't lost any branches um, none of them have gone brown at all so I'm really chuffed about that um, but I do think this time 
that we get another couple of trees in there. And I do have still have the other two giant sequoias that are, are struggling along still. Um, but I think that next year I'm going to fill this out and we're going to put them in. I'm going to do it in the in the springtime or in the winter. Hopefully winter won't be too bad and I can do it. And I'll put them in there and hopefully they'll they'll bounce right right up like these two here. So then we got my tanuki juniper, which is really filling out and looking absolutely brilliant. You could do with some wiring now and some shaping. Um, I'm gonna let these fill out a little bit more um, and become the adult foliage. And then we can sort this out again. But it's looking really, really nice. So let me take you over to here. We've got my bald cypress tree there. This is the one that's not so sick. The other two on the top of the roof are fairly sick. So I've separated them just in case, just in case they sort of affect each other. Um, and then we've got, this is my maple air layer, Japanese maple. And we're gonna take a look at this and do a video on this. That is um, being designed as a cascade tree. So, and I've got the other big air layer that I've got coming. I've got this red maple here, which actually has a really, really nice root base. Um, but I don't like the tree. So I'm sending this to someone. Um, that's gonna go to someone who's just started, recently started a new channel. So I think that'd be a nice, nice tree for him to develop. Like I say, it's got a really nice root base on it. If it was on with any of my other trees, there's no way I'd get rid of the tree, but I just don't like the tree, so. So then we come to my juniper that I bought from, from the Heathrow Bonsai Show. And after its sickness, it's not looking too bad. There are a few, few tips dying off. Um, but I think there are some roots growing in there now. So I'm, I'm hoping it's on the turn and it's gonna, it's gonna sort itself out. So fingers crossed for that one. And then my azalea. We're gonna do a little video on this azalea as well because it's flowered for the first time ever. So we're gonna sort that out in a video coming soon. And then we've got my herons bonsai which needs some wiring put back on it because I took it off thinking oh I don't know how long the wire has been on there for is it biting in and it turns out it wasn't biting in so I'm going to put some wire back on that and reshape that as well this is another one that I'm developing as a cascade and this is actually just a cutting that I did last year. The only one that survived. So that's doing really well as well. So that will bring us to, oh, this is my Cedar of Lebanon. I bought that this year. So that's one for the future that is. That brings us to the Rhino. So guys, that brings us to the Rhino. And you may remember if you watched a video, video I did a few months ago or a month ago that I, I deadheaded the top here and pushed the energy back down to the lower branches which is, seems to have worked really really well um, but I can see the energy still wanting to go up to the top here all these new all these other buds have started pushing out and it's still to me a little bit of wasted energy considering I'm going to chop all most of this back and one of these is going to become the main leader so it is still wasting the energy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take back and just pinch the tops of these any that are growing 
just to send it. Just to send that energy back down the trunk. To where I want it. Now that should do it. I've just pinched all of that off. So hopefully now that'll send a little bit more energy back down here and I'll get some really good growth out of these. And I know they'll, they'll survive through the winter and be all right for next year. That's my main worry is that all these branches growing here now actually survive over the winter and, uh, and carry on next year. So, so that's the rhino. So as I said to you earlier, I'm just gonna check this. And I don't actually like this moss. So I'm gonna take some of this moss away. And I'm worried about the birds as well, picking at it and getting to these roots. So as the tanuki has died, I'm gonna take off all of this. Actually, gonna put some better moss around here. the perfect fit that in fact I'd probably say it was a perfect fit So there we go, there's the finished thing. I've actually stuffed it full of moss there. Not completely full, but fairly full. And uh, covered it in a different moss and put stones around it to stop the birds. So that's what it looks like at the end, just to protect it. And uh, it's growing really well, so. So right guys, here's my little garden update. While the sun's blazing hot, I thought I'd show you everything that was going on. And uh, as you can see, I'm quite pleased with everything that is going on. Everything seems to be growing really well. And uh, yeah, it's all looking good. So I've got a couple of videos coming up. We've got azalea video coming up which will be pretty short also got another styling video coming up i want to restyle this juniper and uh, i'm going to make a video on that i might even do a live video on this um if everyone is up for it i might I might do a live one night and uh, you can all help me design that tree, which would be quite fun, really. Um, yeah, I, I can see two, I've got two visions for that tree and one possible literati and another flat top tree. So we'll wait and see, and uh, I might do a live on that. So, but as ever, please like and subscribe and follow my channel throughout years. And I'll see you next time, guys. Ta-da.